I've been in a very bad place and going through some changes in the, in this head of mine. And uh, yeah, let's go through a story. Sometime back in April, I was shown this video of Art Bell making a speech to a crowd. And this guy's talking up on the pulpit saying, just do it. You want to get something in life? Just do it. Do it. You want to make some money? Well, go ahead, do it. You want to get yourself a car? Then do it. You want to be a better person, happy all the time, big, big people like you and all that? Then do it. As you can see, I've had a very adverse reaction to it, and I felt the need to video record it and to just to uh, get my words out. When I reviewed the film, I realized, do I really need to say this? Do I really need to express it? Did I even feel this way anymore? Yeah, I guess I did feel that way anymore, but did I feel incredibly outraged enough to express it as such? Sometime after that, I was shown another video. I was looking up some uh, topics to sort of help me uh, think in other ways, to th see things in a different light. And this one video popped up I thought it would be fine and decent and all that. It was actually talking about religion and believing in God and all that. The world has lied to us and said that we are not valuable unless we wear a certain size unless we have certain bone structure, unless we have significant other like Kim here, unless we are popular and we wear makeup and make all A's. The truth is that no one nor anything here on earth can give you value or take away your value. The only one who can help us figure out this fourth thing is the one who put you here in the first place. Now, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything supernatural above us controlling our actions or pre even predicting our uh, acts and all that, but I kept watching. You are one of a kind and no one else in the world is like you. If you don't believe me, just hold up your finger. Look at your fingerprint. No one else in the world has your fingerprint. Boys, grades, diets, clothes. They, could, they can't give you worth even if they wanted to. The closer you are to the one who's given you worth, the more you will feel your worth. Sure, I felt repulsed by it all, and I really did not agree with it. But at the same time, I managed to hold back, think about it, see what kind of message they were trying to give. And I got through it. I eventually realized that part of my problems was the way I was reacting to things. I was reacting violently and uh, all high and mighty or whatever, I don't know, just very emotionally to things that were coming forth. And I didn't have to do that. Granted, I don't have to change my thoughts and opinions on it, but I can keep in control. I can see something for what it is and not become so repulsed and emotional about it that I have to explode. I don't have to dwell on it. I don't have to take it to heart. I don't have to take it personally. It just is what it is. I know this sounds like a silly thing to say because it should just become natural to other people. Yet apparently I did not know this, that I didn't have to react violently. From this point, I could look at other things in my life. How I react to people, how I talk to people, how I see things and see things for myself. I talked about not being able to have beauty, being able to have anything of worth or decency in this world. And in truth, I can have it. I can have many wonderful and beautiful things in this world, many great and good experiences. Life is wonderful like that. There's just so much around so much to experience, so much to do, so much to see. And there are great and bad things, but in the end, it's all an experience. I could just uh, simply say it's like Dungeons and Dragons, but that's pretty pathetic. But in the end, it is right. It is all in the dice. You never really know what's going to be ahead of you, no matter how much you try to fix the numbers, no matter how much you try to force something to be a certain way, take it emotionally, take it personally, you can't have control. That's what it is all about. Being able to let go and accept things for what they are. Things for what they will be. And just live. Enjoy it. There is so much beauty in this world. And you can be a part of it. Can appreciate it from the sidelines or within it. It's the small things you encounter along the way. Living day by day. Going on. Moving forward. Always moving forward. Always 
growing in some fashion, experiencing more, seeing everything as it is, not as you want it to be. There is so much beauty in this world, and I really look forward to achieving it, sharing it, and discovering it with other people. I can honestly say I look forward to the rest of my life. It could suck. It could be good. And in the end, it will be life, you know? What have you. So I just got done watching Red Cliff. Red Cliff being a new movie that came from China. I had originally planned to watch it with some friends. Uh, there was one fellow who had to work, another fellow who couldn't get in touch with me, didn't want, couldn't do it, but we're gonna watch a movie next week. And there was another, and there was another guy who I didn't call that I probably should have called that called me when I was heading out to the movie. Yeah, probably should have planned for that. Hell, I even brought this cotton candy for myself. You know, I wanted a good movie experience. So I thought, hey, I haven't had cotton candy at all but no one to really share it with, and I wanted to share that too, you know? I guess I'm nearly not all dead inside. I crave some social attention to share with other people. I still have that, and it's good to know that I have that drive still. And the fact that I still have that drive to want some to talk to, even though I really don't feel I have anyone to talk to, I, it's good, you know? I'm still going strong. I feel the extreme need still to go out and open myself up a bit, to get hurt even, here and there, all that. I'm not dead, fully. I can still do that.